Hey guys, I'm Cody at Revine Pass Life Pro. Today, I'll be teaching you how to adjust GI quality. GI meaning global illumination in the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. As for this video's existence, credit goes to this YouTuber, of whom I mandated above. Anyways, let's get started. First, if the C shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop, access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite.fsh. Using Notepad, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 633. For adjusting the quality of GI, this is how the game will play. Larger numbers above 2.0 will increase the global illumination quality. Smaller numbers will, as you'd expect, decrease the quality at least until you hit 0.0. .0. At that point, global illumination is disabled. For my choice, I'd rather keep what is already here, since I think it looks just fine. And quite frankly, my annotation might be giving you the rundown on this. Anything above 2.0, from what I've seen, makes close to no difference at all. To be honest, the change from 2.0 to something like 4.0 is so minimal that I wouldn't recommend going any higher. Well, unless you want to test it out for yourself. Anyways, before you leave, don't forget to save. Alright, my friends, if you have any questions, then do leave them in the comment section down below. If this Zeus tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!